children. How are we today? Hi. Good. How are you? Talking great. How are you? I am doing great. Welcome one and all to Raven's home. It's very exciting to see bright and shining faces on the screen. Uh, Mimi, you first. You are the baby cousin and you have your own set of gifts in your own right. What is it like to work alongside Raven and how does Alice see her elder cousin? Well, Auntie Ray gives great advice, but she's also listening to us. And, um, you know, she also lets us learn the business side and the, you know, the acting side of the business. Um, but it's awesome. And um, Auntie uh, uh, Alice really loves her Auntie Ray. Um, mm -hmm. you, know, you can consider them best friends, not only cousins, but you can consider them best friends. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> um, Felix, now yes. Neil has a growing friendship with Booker throughout yeah. the season. Can you talk about that dynamic and how they get along? Yeah, totally. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, Neil, I think very early on uh, shows Booker that he's just like just the most like genuine dude. He's just there, he's not fake at all. He's not there's no mixed uh, intentions or anything like that. He's just who he is, who he shows he is, is, is exactly who he is. Like, you know, um, he's the same dude waking up as he goes to sleep. And I think Booker really bonds with that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Booker needs somebody who's just like real with him, who doesn't judge him, who doesn't, who doesn't, uh, or really worry too much. It's just more like, I'm there for you. If you need me, call me, I'm there. And that's shown a lot in the show. And I love that between them two is that a lot throughout the season, you'll see, Booker's might be in a pinch or he needs something and it'll ring up Neil and like Neil's there. You know what I mean? Like Neil's always, he's just the dude that's is, is down for whatever he's got his back. And I think having that friendship that them being best friends, because they're just so, you know, down for each other. Like we've got each other, you know, like brothers, it really does feel like brothers. And that's how it is in real life too. I think that helps, you know, off screen. I'm always there for Isaac and Isaac's been there for me. And, you know, we haven't even known each other really that long, but that, that brotherhood that we've shared uh, and, and that bond that we've created off screen definitely translates on screen. And it just creates, it just makes for some of the best, best moments I could ever ask for between the two. Okay. That's wonderful. Yeah. We love to see besties on screen and off screen. Um, Emmy, now yes. you have your own bond uh, with Mimi's character, Alice. Can you yes. talk about kind of, being the babysitter and also how you view the Baxter household. Okay. Well, um, I actually see a lot of similarities between Mimi's character and my own. We're both super smart. We even went to the same, the same school. She goes mm -hmm. to the genius school. I used to go to that school. Ivy used to go there and she's, she works super hard. She like, she gets the best grades. They're both, they're both smart. They have the best intentions, both pretty competitive. And I feel like that dynamic is really fun to see because I view Mimi at Ivy views Alice as like a little sister type and she takes care of her. Sometimes Alice will be taking care of me, but, um, <laughs> which is kind of how that is in real life. But, <laughs> but yeah, I feel like just, and the, well, the Baxter household to me is like, they're my family, but I wouldn't admit it. I take care of Victor and I take care of Alice and I make money from it, but I, I go there and I'm like, all right, where's my check? But, <laughs> but I know deep down, like mm -hmm. I love these people and I'm doing it for them and for no other reason, because I just love them and the money is a bonus. Oh, that's wonderful. I love that yeah. so much. Now, finally, for each of you, uh, starting with Mimi, what is one thing, what is one lesson you learned on the set of Raven's Home that you will be taking with you into the future? That's a tough question. Um, one of the lessons I've learned is uh, definitely multicam. Multicam is a big lesson that I've learned. Um, mm. Sound cam is way different. Um, but that is definitely something that I have to carry along with me, um, uh, for my career. And so I'm very happy about that. <laughs> Wise. <laughs> well, thank you all so much. I must run away from the pain now, but I cannot wait to see more of Raven's home and all thank of you in it. You, thank, you so <laughs> thank you so much. Great talk. Also, I love thank Screen you. Rant. Oh, oh yay. Screen Rant loves you. So, okay. you so much. Have a great day.